whole mass thing, really, it, it, all right, it's a time in hip hop where things, from my point of view, started going more to what things look like opposed to what things sound like. Once it started getting more publicized and, you know, it started being hip hop, started being more of a, a money making thing, then you get these corporate ideas where you want to put what it looks like to sell what it sounds like. Look, I'm gonna come with the angle of, it don't matter what I look like, you know, it don't matter what the artists look like, it's more what the artists sound like. So the mask really represents the the whole, like, to rebel against the trying to sell the product as a human being, you know what I mean? Rest in peace, Doom, man. One of the originators, one of the uh, dope artists that influenced the generation, man, from Joey Badass to, uh, a whole lot of New York cats, man. Like, just shout out to him. Let's just jump into it. The author. The author. Spit flows, spit shows, and monsters. Money up the bitches is what they taught you. Slip soft with pain and torture. So yeah, man, that's Doom. Uh, I definitely, I definitely feel where you're coming from. A lot of the sound, a lot of the new artists, a lot of the people that you see bubble up is definitely tied to a corporation, definitely tied to a big label, definitely tied to a whole bunch of other interests that have nothing to do with music whatsoever. They're just trying to push an agenda, just trying to push and make their bottom line, just trying to make sure that they recoup the finances that they invested to them. And I don't even know if this is still applicable today. I don't even know if artists still feel and listen like this, but a lot of people don't even have a sound developed. So, I mean, like, just listen to the OGs, man. Listen to the originators. Listen to the people that came before you and just just develop who you are as a person before you go out here and try to sell who you are to a big company. And that that's from any any level of life, man. That, if you're a musician, if you're an artist, if you are... Uh, you know, if you're an athlete, like develop your game, develop who you are, develop your inner self, and it'll it'll come out through your skills. But these these big corporate interests, they have no interest in who you are. They just want to make sure that you're marketable enough to make sure that you can be uh, make a profit off of. And if you have your own following, if you have your own skill set, if you have your own interests, then they have no need to want to change who you are because you've already shown, hey, I can develop who I am and my skill set already without trying to shift and change and trying to trying to fit into a certain box that y'all want me to fit me in. Like, for, for example, like Drake, when he first came out, he already had, people was already messing with Drake before he got signed. Like, when his first album came out, Try Harder was one of my jams on that. But before he signed to Wayne, before he got with, you know, Birdman, before he started messing with Jay Prince, he had his own sound in uh, Canada that people were really liking and really messing with. And then when he came over to Wayne, everybody had already heard the sound and saw what he was messing with, saw what he was developing, and they just further pushed that idea. So... Whoever you are, whatever you're doing in your life right now, man, develop who you are as a person. Develop your skill set. Develop your interests. Don't try to sell. Don't try to sell yourself before you actually know yourself. If that makes any sense, man. Just, just know that there'll always be time to sell yourself. You know, there'll always be time to attach yourself to something bigger and better. But until you know who you are, until you have developed a skill set, until you have an actual talent or gift or ability, then what are you really selling? You're not selling anything. You're selling a corporate's image of what they want you to be. So just remember, man, before you go in there for that big interview, if you're applying for jobs, if you're looking for work, know who you are before they try to make you into something that you ain't. That's the, that's the goal for the day, man. Know who you are. Develop your skills. Be you before you try to become something they want you to be, man. So I'll catch y'all on the flip side, man. Be safe. Keep your head up. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for checking me out today. Before you leave, check out the Patreon. I got a link down in the description. Please subscribe and leave a comment to let me know how I can make my content better or any kind of content that you guys want to see. Click like so you can know that I'm a pretty dope reactor. And I'll leave any thoughts that you guys have some time with today, guys. Peace. And I just really want the simple life. Simple car, simple charm.